All right, let's get this game booted up here. I will request English only in the chat. I'm sorry. That's I I only know English. But how am I? I am pretty good. Doing pretty good. Getting things booted up here. And I think we're ready to go. I have a couple of things on my to-do list. So one thing I wanted to check out was the museum again, uh, because I know I missed something in the museum. So I want to circle back and just see what I missed. I'm, I'm sure there's not much there that's really worth seeing, but if you're super excited not to understand anything here, it's okay. Me too. <laughs> Bridge, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Luf, you've watched Outer Wilds, right? But you haven't played it yourself? Yeah. You only watched it not that closely, so you know some basics. Gotcha. Yeah. <gasps> and the DLC is a whole other thing. You're doing spiffy? Glad to hear it. All right. So I want to check out the... Um, oh, I, sh I should... You know what? I should at least grab my suit first because I'm lazy and don't want to walk all the way around. <laughs> Give me this. Let's see. We could even just fly over. Why not? There's like a good chance I'd make that jump, but if I didn't, I'd be annoyed. Come on. Down, down, down. Ugh. There we go. Perfect landing. Right at the front door. Look at this parking. The best parking space on in the whole village. All right. So, I know I missed somewhere in here. But I'm not exactly sure where. This all looks the same. Oh, here we go. This is what was added. New exhibit. Look at that. We got a model of our telescope, too. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Neat. Um, and we unidentified. No, that's, I don't want the scout. I want this. I want to, there we go. Museum shard. I missed a lot of those during my first playthrough, just actually scanning stuff. Um, there's one other place that I want to go, and then I'm probably going to actually just reset the loop so I don't lose a lot of time. Um... And the, there was one other thing I wanted to look at at the shack. Hello? Excellent. You didn't know you could scan stuff for 90% of the game? Yeah, so I had a lot of trouble during my first playthrough because I didn't scan anything. I didn't scan, like... Uh, I didn't scan the, scan the quantum stuff, and I also didn't scan the escape pods. So you can imagine I had a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, so the other thing I wanted to look at here is we know what this is. This is familiar to us. This, however, I don't know what that is in the middle, and that looks weird.
Unless that's just Timber Hearth. Maybe that is just Timber Hearth. Because we've got the Twins. We've got Brittle Hollow. We've got Dark Bramble. We've got the Interloper. Giants. Okay, so that is just Timber Hearth. All right. For a second, I thought that that was something else. And I was like, ooh, we're going to have to check for a second thing at some point. But I think that was wrong. I'm actually just going to meditate to the next loop now. What's the elevator pitch of the DLC here? So I haven't played that much of it, so I I, I can't give you scope-wise too much, but I can say that it adds uh, it adds a lot of totally new elements and new areas, and I don't really want to like I you'll you'll see in a minute actually you'll you'll see how the game changes pretty substantially. Um, the little speck, or the one with the white ring amount. It was the one with the white ring, like, right on top of the sun. Sorry, I didn't see that sooner. So, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to my ship log. Oh, this was all the stuff that I uncovered last time. Oh, there was so much. This is what I really want to check out this stream. Uh, and the dam. So, first thing we're gonna do is mark the stranger. And then we're gonna go. Here's a great question. Um, what game has the most cryptic to find DLC? <laughs> Dark Souls? I, uh, I don't even know Dark Souls well enough to confirm that, but I, but I trust both of you well enough. Uh, <laughs> about Dark Souls. And... surprise! Perfect landing. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I think that's everything that I need. And here we are. This is I this will never get old to me. This is so freaking cool. All right. And uh first thing we're going to do is go all the way around, which I promise has a purpose. It was like, um, go do five random things in order, kill Golden Golem, and bam, you found it. Man. Yeah, Bloodborne's another one I have not played. I, I have a hunch that I would not enjoy the Souls games. I think I would get a little frustrated. <laughs> Yeah, this place is stunning. It is gorgeous. Never seen this area? Yeah, this is exclusive to the DLC. It's really cool. The first time I came here, I was scared out of my mind. I was just, like, expecting something awful to happen. And then it, like, opens up into this beautiful world, and there's, like, this awesome music. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. It's fine. I'm sure I'm sure we got insurance on this raft. I'm trying to think of other games that had like just excellent DLC. I really liked the Horizon one. Um the for the uh Frozen Wilds. 
I thought that was really good. Okay, I fucked this up last time. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. Yes, pick me up. I will not fuck this up. Ha! Ah, got it. Witcher 3. I have not played enough of Witcher 3 to even know if I'm playing DLC content. <laughs> one day. One day I'm gonna actually, like, finish Witcher 3. I don't know where this goes, by the way. I'm, I'm like, nervous about it. Is there anything else around here before I just go into the only door? I think we're gonna go. I love the bears from the DLC from Horizon Zero Dawn. Give you the people's elbow. But damn, that game is a commitment. Okay, I got like 40 hours into The Witcher 3. I was like, where is she? Just where, where the fuck is she? And I just got annoyed. <laughs> I, I played, um, I played Witcher f for the first 20, all right, all right, small rant, small rant. I played the first 20 hours of The Witcher 3. It was okay. I didn't like Gwent, so I decided not to play Gwent because it's optional. You don't have to play Gwent. So I just skipped it until I got to a quest where Gwent is required and you have to defeat like three NPCs in a row at Gwent or you fail the quest. And I just like, I kept failing and restarting and failing and restarting. And like, I was burning through all my money for like the entry fees. And I just got so frustrated. I put the game down for a year. <laughs> then, oh, Pyro, thank you so much for the resub. But also, when I came back to the game after a year, I thought that all of my progress would have been deleted. So I was like, oh, we'll just start over. Maybe I'll start at Easy Gwent and I'll like learn it and I'll work my way up. Nope, it, Steam remembered my progress and I had to go back to the Gwent quest. So I murdered everyone, just destroyed everyone. And it just like failed the quest and let me skip it. I was just like, oh God. I was, I was... <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole mood. It was a whole mood. Oh my gosh. But Pyro, uh, Pyro, really, thank you for that resub. I really, really appreciate it. But oh my god, Gwent. Heck, Gwent. All right, all right. Uh, witch witchers are monster hunters. People who gamble are monsters. <laughs> can't beat someone at cards, just sort them. Yeah, I mean, that's poker, right? Poker is very similar. All right, all right, let's get back to this. We've got a door and we've got a spooky empty room. We've got a secret room down there. We got a lot of pipes, which is interesting. I think that's new. Can we sit in these chairs? Of course not, okay. Wow. But actually, I could sit and w just watch out this window for, like, ever. If I lived here, I, this is where I would be all the time. So we've got two doors. We've got that door and we've got this door. I think I'll check out this one first. I can't plug that in. The music just changed and that makes me nervous. So we're gonna go back, see if this is a small room or if this is a... <sighs> um, interesting, we can't open this door. Oh, I get it. Maybe. Oh, I don't actually, you know what? I don't like, I dislike this more. This is how we go down. What if I don't want to go down? 
Oh, God. They both go down. Both of the rooms go down. Down is where spooky stuff happens. I just... My controller just did a vibrate. Catch me not ever in that cage elevator. Yeah. Well, this room doesn't look too spooky. The game is like doing a lot of very subtle things to psych me out too. And I don't know how I feel about it. What is going on here? Okay. I'll have to read the ship log for that one. I don't really know what that is about yet. It's like the sun is, it's like it's trying to charge or like fire up a turbine and it's not working. Oh, you guys, do we go down the elevator? I don't want to, gonna be honest. Fuck this elevator. I have the meditating to let next loop at any time. I can nope out of here. Oh, I hate it, 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 I hate it. Dear Lord, it's I'm I don't know if I'm ready for this. Door opens and load into Soma. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> I am I am so psyched out on this game. Like I am just on the edge of my seat at all times. So we have a secret entrance now. Is there a secret entrance like on this side too? No. Or at least I didn't see it. Oh, uh, whoops. You know what? Where'd it go? Let's just, let's read our ship log. What did we get from what we just picked up? Of course, it's not gonna fill in a new bubble, so it might actually take a minute to find it. It's fine. Maybe I should read it. We've already done the whole loop. Like, we we have the first half of our loop, so. Let's see, let's see. What did we get that's new? Uh, view entry. Uh, the button controls- I'm on a PS4 controller and the buttons always confuse me. Um... An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a projection showing Stranger's current trajectory and the sun's predicted supernova radius. There's more to explore. A slide reel that shows a strange vault being encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. That's our next go-to, so we're going back underwater. Nearly all of the slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. According to a slide reel, a strange vault was encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Yep, yep, yep. A slide from the Cinder Isles showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around. Yep, I remember that. Cliffside building. Saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into one of the canyon walls with a bridge that used uh, used to lead it has, has rotted away. Bridge, I want you to know that I think of you every time I see the word bridge anywhere, in any context. I'm like, oh yeah, bridge. How easy are you doing? Uh, okay, I think that's all of the new entries. Back we go to our 
Spooky side door. These look at them and then not look at them. Oh shit. Go back up. Let me out. Uh, was that everything in here? I mean, I guess so. I should stop wasting all my fuel, it's fine. Wow, the dam hasn't even exploded yet. We're looking great. It's not gonna take long now, though. Sometimes I wonder if there's any stuff up on these higher plateaus. So the place that I want to go next is the bell. And I don't 100% remember exactly where it is. I feel like it's this way. Actually behind us. That thing right there. Oh, if I'd gone the other way, I would have had to go, on, go all the way around. Locked. Unknown language. Man, we're gonna have to get a cipher for this soon. Uh, that pulls up a raft. Let's check this other building. Gotta be something in here, right? Maybe not until the dam goes, but it's gonna go any second. So maybe I should just kind of stay up. Ah! Every time. There goes that. I hope the one that I'm on doesn't, does not fall. Bridge out, bridge out. <laughs> and there is our bell. Fascinating. Violence against the bridges, two, two out of 10 game. Ugh, whoopsie daisies. Yeah, you can't play the DLC now. All right, what's in here? This is important. I've seen this before. I don't know what these symbols mean yet. I've seen them. British, hello. A bridge pun. <laughs> Me a little wooden. It, this just looks too much like a person's in here. I was trying to figure out if what I was hearing was the fire making a kind of like roaring noise or if it was breathing. 
So there's going to be something that I have to do in the environment on each loop to unlock these. When these get unlocked, it's going to like plunge this, I bet. And then something will happen, but I I don't know yet. But I'm I'm guessing that's what I have to do. Is I I have to unlock those. I just don't know how. The other hunch that I have is that any unlocking that uh has to get done. Ooh. Oh no, please don't kill me. Dear. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm stuck. Uh. Help! 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 The water pressure is too strong! I'm, I'm legitimately stuck. Can I go out through here? Ha! Ha ha! You thought you could get me, game. get me out of the water. Oh, thank you. All right, we can make it. We can make it. We can make it. Oh, overshot it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna spend this whole loop just in the water. All right, all right. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Okay. You haven't played the DLC for this? You just got stuck on the main game and ended up floating in space. Oh, I did that many a time. Don't worry. Um, let's go back to these buildings here because they feel pretty substantial. Especially that one. Like, maybe there's something that has to happen at the top. This is fine. I know there's like a, a hidden room under here too. least I thought there was. Maybe this is the one they have to enter from the back of it? It's fine. We'll go back. I forget which one it is. I think it's this one, maybe? I remember it had the... There we go. Alright, I want to go back in here. These rooms... I know also have some very obvious significance. Like, they also have these... Weird... Light things. They've got all these dead people. stumbled across these these ring things and the little grabby hands um, and I'm noticing that these ones are lit maybe I should bring one to a fire that doesn't sound like a bad place to start Coming in hot soup. <laughs> Tuka, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. It's like the mausoleum. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, uh, 
Chica, I would not have known how to spell that if you had asked. I, uh, I would have had to have Googled it. I'm the worst at spelling. It doesn't help that I'm dyslexic. Oh, there it goes. So is... Yeah, there is a door in the back that goes to exactly where we just were. And the loop is like just about over. So now I think next we should find one of those grabby guys and try lighting it over a fire. Let's try that. The vocab fairy. <laughs> Tuka, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh man, there was a word yesterday when I was play I was playing a game, playing a board game, and I had never like seen the word written before. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a French word. I'm trying to remember what the word was. But I was completely lost as to like what I had no idea. It took me it took me a minute. Or I should say it had to get pointed out. Um going for gossip stones. Gotcha. And giggly stones. Can't be any worse than the vocab in Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Oddly sexy vocab fairy on your resume. I mean, that's that's a fun title. I feel silly trying to to do anything right now, but I don't think the grabby thing was in here. I think it's underwater, wherever it is. Here it goes. Is that a- is that a real quote, British? <laughs> I- I would believe it, but also, dear lord. I'll never get over when, like, people read little chapters from Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, there's so many really good ones on YouTube. And people said at least they're reading. I never read Fifty Shades of Grey. I did read the first Twilight book in, like, middle school. As you do in middle school. A large metal structure suspended by change. It can be entered by swimming from below. There is a sealed vault illuminated by a green fire inside the structure. Okay. Okay. Kids can't read in middle school. Lies, lies. <laughs> That's like when that was my peak of reading was was like late middle school, early high school. Um, let's mark the stranger. Actually, it is already. We're good. Uh, but yeah, the Gilbert Goffrey reads Fifty Shades of Grey. If you haven't seen it, I mean, it's a classic, but if you haven't seen that, you you must. Now you fall asleep the instant you open a book. Dude, I, yeah. I struggle a lot. I'll, I have to retrain my brain to read novels because whenever I try now, I'll get, like, through a paragraph or two or half a page, and then I realize that I've completely checked out completely forget 
Uh, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll get me just get in. It's fine. We don't need this anymore. Uh, I'm really. We could go in that way. I don't think it makes a really big difference right now. In the future, it will. This took me so long to figure out the first time. Stuck the landing. <laughs> Yeah, Bridge, if, if you keep making that joke, it's gonna stick. So, where did I find the little grabby thing? It wasn't in here, was it? You know what? We're gonna check. Okay. Photo mode. I can't believe I didn't know this for so long. I went the entire game without ever using photo mode the first time I played. Like, Jesus Christ. <gasps> I was right! It is in here! I got it! Yeah! We got our little grabby hands! Okay, I don't know what to do with this, but we have it. Uh... Okay. Hey. So now we just need to find some blue fire. And there might be one in here. How many alternate personas can one man have? <laughs> Okay. Uh, this one is the door. Oh, already holding artifact. Drop artifact. Pick up artifact. I think there's fire in here. Actually, the quote, I feel the color rising in my cheeks again. I must be the color. Jesus. That's... oh god. Ah. Can I... ow! I just want to light this. Why are all yours lit and mine isn't? Excuse. Uh, I can't, like, crouch. What did I do? Oh, oh, I'm waiting. I was like, what the fuck did I press? Oh, it's lit! Oh, god! They're all gone. Oh, god, they're all gone. What happened? Oh, what did I do? How did I even get it to work? I don't know how I got it to work. No. No. Why would it do me like this? Uh. Uh. It's dark now. Everything's dark now. And the music is scary.
I I um I'm upset. If I look at it, it lights the candles. That's moving. My controller is shaking. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like, nothing has happened yet. I have no rational reason to be scared shitless. Stand for 30 minutes. Okay. Then you can watch me just, like, Anxiously lean back and forth. Okay. There we go. Up we go. Nothing's breaking. We're good. Actually, I forgot to turn my, uh, my light on. Which I would not have noticed. Oh, so much more light. Here we are. We are standing. <laughs> British, you want to see me play a real horror game? Did Soma not count? Did Soma not count? Because, good lord, it's going to be hard to get me to play something that's, like, a true horror game, you know? Uh, let me know if you have trouble hearing me, because my mic is a little bit further away from me now. I can put... I can put something under it. Bump it up a little bit. That'll help. Uh, okay. Um, well, British, thank you for the redeem because that gave me a nice breath of fresh air. Uh, like a good, like, pause, you know, where I could just, uh, relax for a minute. Nothing scary has happened yet. I have nothing to be afraid of. Maybe, maybe they're friendly. God, the sound design is chilling. <laughs> Just the the very quiet water sounds with like the the little tiny howling in the background. Play remothered and we'll see. I um I I I don't know, British. I don't know. Oh good lord. I'm like worried if I go too far off the path, that's when something's gonna grab me, you know? There it is.
I keep hearing the deer noises. Which, like... Oh, I guess makes sense because they are deer people? You could use your intro command from Peachy's stream. Ghostbusters siren noise. I see him like walking around. What? What? Excuse me? There's a guy like right there. They're playing music. That's not scary. It made her jump. Yeah, like, I'm not... I don't handle that stuff super well, you know? I, I can't see him. Like, I see the light, right? eerie right oh there he is they're all going in there okay maybe maybe they're nice maybe they're nice jump scares aren't aren't horror are they just do you think jump scares are just like cheap that's why because i think they're cheap um i think there can be some really well placed jump scares but that's a very rarely used, you know? Like... Uh, also, like, if jump scares are used too much, they stop being scary. I don't see... Oh. Oh, is that the dam? Are we about to, like, get swept up in water? <gasps> what? Oh, that was the dam breaking and it took a- it, it extinguished our fire! I get it, I get it. It extinguished our fire and it took us back here. Dang, okay. Woo, all right. They don't elicit fear, just shock. That's, yeah. No, I, I agree with that, Pyro. Um, yeah, fright and and horror are different different feelings, different emotions. Uh, it helps build tension, but it kills it if it's around every corner, yeah. RE7 is perfect for it. Yeah, I remember, like, so, amnesia, less so soma, uh, but amnesia, I think, was really, like, to me, at least, almost a perfect example of a horror game. Because the first, like, couple hours of that game, nothing happens. You're just totally in your head. There's, like, some spooky noises and some spooky flashbacks or whatever. But that's about it. Um...
And then when you do start to encounter things that are dangerous, you can't fight back. You, if you get caught, you die, pretty much. And it's just all suspense. Everything is suspense and hide and try not to be noticed and make yourself as small as possible and stare at the wall, don't look at it. But also by not looking at it, you're making the thing scarier. What happens if I relight this now, I wonder? But yeah, I think that Amnesia, more than a lot of games, really just nailed it. Alright, this one... I'm curious what happens if we try to go back now. Like, maybe we went to... How did I... And, and then, how did I do this before? Ugh. Oh. It's fine, it's just fire. Uh, do I doze off? Yeah, okay, okay. So maybe we should light our... Uh, we should doze off at this one because it's the last one to sink. In RE7, you're getting stalked. Um, and sometimes you don't know where they are. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very similar to Amnesia, right? Yeah, I've I've watched RE Seven. I haven't played it myself, but I've I've watched it. All right, do we go left or right? I think we go left. There's more stuff to the left. Grizzly, hello, welcome in. How you doing? Yeah, it's puzzle time. All right. It's get scared shitless, even though nothing's happened yet, puzzle time. The door does not work. Y'all heard the footsteps, right? Oh, shit. I can't use my jetpack here. I didn't even notice. So don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Wait, there's a... Oh my god, there's a conceal. Of course there is! Of course I can hide. Let's go this way. That other way was spookier. Damn it. Okay, we can't go this way. What do what am I like when I hear noises in real life and I'm alone? I um uh just yell at the cats usually. Like this goddamn animals. I'm like, what did that shitty beast get into this time? We're gonna go this way, because there were fewer footsteps. My god. I really hate the sound of the footsteps.
Man. I should have fixed my mic before I went live. I, uh, keep meaning to fix my mic so that if I'm really loud, it doesn't cut out. And I just never got around to it. Like, I, I noticed it when I was playing... There's a guy up there. I noticed it when I was playing Soma that if I, like, screamed, you couldn't actually hear it. It would cut out. Um... Oh, we're falling. Oh, shit. Here we go. I think... I think each area, each building that we go into is a unique area. That's interesting. Kika, hello. Good morning. Yeah, it's got like one too many filters, Bridge. Yeah. And so if I if I scream or if I laugh really hard, you can hear my voice is distorted. And I keep meaning to fix it and then I just like don't quite care enough. Like this camera angle, I'm standing. <sighs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, exactly, Bridge. And I just went, Boo! but I actually did like a full scream in that moment. Curious if there's anything down here. Well, all right, that was uh, interesting. We learned a lot. Damn. Okay. Just let this loop happen. Any second now. I hate the sound of doors slamming in games because it reminds you of people in real life who slam doors and stomp around. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost made a huge mess. <laughs> I went to grab my water bottle and I knocked it over and directly behind my water bottle was a teapot and a french press. Why does it make me have to put out the light? That's, ah, uh, that's such an added level of scary. If I have to actually be sneaky. The stickers on the water bottle? You sure can. They're, they're getting kind of, kind of damaged. I got the waterproof ones and they just did not stay. We've got an Eclectus parrot there. This is a, um, Conyer wearing a dinosaur onesie. This is another Conyer wearing a dinosaur onesie. What else we got on here? We've got a matcha snake. And that's a green tail python. We got a crested gecko. We've got a frog drawn by our very own boiled garlic. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all of them. But I will say, I don't think that I'm going to put stickers on a water bottle again. As much as I like looking at them, it's just, even if you're the most careful with filling it up and washing it, it will, the stickers will get destroyed. And it's just sad. And away we go. Come on. There we go. I don't know how much of this I've got in me tonight. This is scary. I didn't think I was gonna just jump straight into Spookiesville today.
Which one should we go to first? I think we should explore the first one more. Um. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Let me out, let me out. I guess it makes sense that there would be sneaky elements with light in this game because light is just like such an important like not quite a resource but like come on come on we're not even going far come on We're gonna go get the thing. Give me this. Let's go back to the first one and I'll be brave. I will be brave. Uh, that's the first one. I will be brave, I will be brave, I will be brave. Okay, doze off. Wake up. And everybody is gone. I dis I dislike that so much. So so like why are they here? If the world that they're in is directly correlated to the fire in this one, so like they will perish. Regardless, this isn't a safe haven for them. And I forget which way I went last time. Probably that way. Although I remember... On the other one, something happened when I looked through here. But this one doesn't. Or at least not yet. Okay. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Stop making deer noises, you deer. Ever consider that that is very spooky? It's a little rude. Did I know there's an animal skull on my wall? I've got a few of them around, actually. I've got- I actually do have a deer right here. And show and tell. I keep this in with- like, set up with my plants. And then that's a, uh, a buffalo or a cow or something. I remember this one was a trick one. It's actually this way. Yeah. But yeah, the one behind me on the wall was uh, something that my my parents got uh, a long time ago, and it was passed down to me, I guess, um, or given to me. He didn't want it anymore, and so I took it. Yeah, see, that one does that. <laughs> Show that to the deer man. He'll respect my authority. Yeah. You want to end up like your friend over here? You better stop with the spooks. You, little, you spook man.
They're just having a little dance party. They're just playing their music. There's nothing weird about that. So this is where I got last time, and I kind of ran out of things to look at. My controller is making a vibrating noise. I'm tempted, this might sound crazy, I'm tempted to just like run at this guy and see what happens. Hello sir, I'm a little lost, can I get some directions? I just need to know if he's gonna kill me. Hi! Are you gonna hurt me? I need- I need to know if you're gonna hurt me. I just have to know. Oh, he's definitely gonna hurt me. Wow. Wow, he's real spooky. Ah! Okay. Alright. Alright, now I know. Now I know. I know. Now I understand. Oh my god. He's got little- Oh, okay. He just kicks you out. You know what? That's- that's not too bad. He's just like, you don't belong here. You weren't invited to the party. It's rude that you showed up. Yeah, he sent me a timeout. Yeah, that's, it's, um, it's actually the same policy that they have for nurses working in the ICU right now. You have to stand in the five minute corner if you contract COVID and then you can return to work. Uh... This was not the way. <laughs> Blew out my birthday candles. <laughs> what a dick. All right, so I'm I'm not too spooked anymore. If that's all they do, I mean, I guess like. Even dying would kind of not be the, uh, like, it just resets, right, regardless? That's more just an inconvenience thing. What I don't like is that he puts out his light, <laughs> so I can't see him as easily. Nice to be so flippant about my demise. I'm just trying to rationalize that I don't have to be scared, you know? This is the first area also that has felt wrong. Like this is not where I'm supposed to be. There's no lights to follow. I'm just kind of wandering. Now, is he going to see me when I'm this close, even when my light's out? There's two of them. We'll let the first guy go, and the second guy, and we'll follow them, and we'll see what happens. Oh, he's got little hooves. It's kind of cute. Oh, he walks so slow. <laughs> Excuse me, could you hurry up? Got places to be, actually. Unless these guys just loop in a circle or something. Oh, that wouldn't surprise me. But they're all, I thought they were all going to that music center. how you hide from him yeah the the game did give me a prompt that was like you can hide yourself using 
the left bumper. I was like, okay. Oh, I can't see anything. I'm so close to him. <laughs> So far, this is working. Stay behind him. Oh, what's about to happen? Oh, I'm so not supposed to be here. They're all around me, now what? Do I go in? What do I do? <laughs> Hi! Uh, excuse me. I, um... I'm selling Girl Scout cookies? That's the dam. Hi! to stay there. Should I do that again and just try staying there? But like, I just, I feel like that's just gonna waste so much time, you know? Yeah, just stay concealed. The only reason I, um, revealed myself was, uh, because I thought, like, last second... Like, if I had to do something, like, reveal myself in that last second, I don't know. I think I fucked up, though. Alright, well, now we know what to... <sighs> but staying concealed the whole time... I mean, I guess I would... It just, it seems... It seems redundant. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. What's there to lose? But that was spooky, but now we know what the spooks are. We know that they just come up and they're like, bad. Get out. It's like me to the cat. Cat. How dare. How dare you. All right, all right. We got this, we got this. We're experimenting. If it literally is just stay concealed, I, uh... I will feel like a dummy. Actually, I'll probably feel more like a dummy if it's not, because um, it means that we'll have to go through that whole thing again. Maybe staying in there is what, like... I don't know. Staying in there is what does an unlock or something. Maybe we have to sneak around them and then there's something to interact with behind him. I don't know if I'm invisible when my light is put out either, or if I'm just harder to see. Because there's a very big difference there. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Am I in the hangar at least? Oh, I am! 
Uh, I'm in bad shape medically. All right, not anymore. <laughs> that was the worst landing yet. I'm past 30 minutes standing if I feel like sitting. Thanks for letting me know. I'm actually quite comfy. I'm feeling okay. I'll keep standing. I haven't been standing enough lately and it's... No, oh, damn it. My posture has been really bad. I've had a lot of neck pain lately and I think it's because my posture has been such shit. Whoops. <laughs> I walked right off it. Give me this. Alright, let's go back to that first one. Oh no, I don't wanna I don't wanna go through there. That's fine. That works. Um even when working online this one week it has turned um tuned your backup. Yeah. Yeah. Though it is it is a thing. It's weird. So I've always had chronic back pain. Like I ever since like high school, I've had daily pretty bad back pain. Um and then about a year ago, when I started to like really work out regularly and um, work on my flexibility in my shoulders and strengthening specifically my shoulders. Doing push-ups especially helped so, so much. Um, I had no back pain for like six months. It was phenomenal. It was like life-changing. I had no back pain. Um, and now, since I started working from home, I have slowly but surely regained back pain and has begun having intense neck pain which I've never really had neck pain before. So that was all pretty n new and unfortunate. I, so I, I don't know. I think I, I need to practice good posture more often and actually use my standing desk. Since, you know, I invested in it for my health and that, and then I just don't use it, so. You've never experienced anything worse than consistent back pain. It is crippling. Um, it's like... It, it really, really is. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wish bad back pain on anybody. It is. It is not fun. You commuted one hour to your university when you did your bachelor's for teaching for two years. Oh my god. That's a, that's a long commute. Was it public transit? Because when I worked at my last job, I had to commute about an hour, 45 minutes to work. But it was all buses, so it was like... Mostly, mostly just waiting for the next bus. All right. All right, now here's the question. Are these guys always in pairs? Because I don't want to be behind just a singular guy if there are two. I 
don't see one. Although I probably want to be last, right? I don't want anyone coming into the room behind me. I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to I'm going to wait for the one with two guys. Ah, carpooled. Yeah, that's not too bad. Got one guy. Pray driving responsibilities? Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. And a second guy. I think I'm gonna follow this guy. We'll we'll commit to the second one. A hundred and three customer refunds. Oh man. What happened uh, Saturday? Was that... I assume that was unusual. Oh, average day. Alright, alright. At least refunds are... At least... From the platforms I'm familiar with, not too tedious or time-consuming. It's amazing that they can't sense the guy in a giant spacesuit behind them. I guess they are deer, right? Deer aren't exactly perceptive. Oh, sit up straight. Stretch. You could see it. You could see the hunch. Uh, I'll stretch in a minute because I'm afraid to pause and uh, not be concealed when I reopen the game. But thank you for the stretch, KY. You, it's getting late. You should go to bed. This also is not the same group of two that I followed last time. I don't know if I should go in. The music just stops as soon as I come in. And the door closes behind me. Hey man, I don't know, uh... Don't know what the deal is here. I'm just gonna stand here. Huge backlog, and some people on your team aren't hitting their targets. So they might get gotcha taken off the customer refund disputes. Gotcha. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something right now, and I'm afraid. Like, why? Ah! Could you- Wait, do you fly? What's up with you? <gasps> I 
I guess I'm not supposed to go in there. Now I know to wait for at least one more dude. That guy was different though. I had never seen him before. We can try, we can try. I doubt we're gonna have enough time in this loop, but maybe, I wonder if we could just go straight there now that all the guys are there. Turn off the game and go to bed. And try not to have a nightmare, dear lord. Yeah, good luck to me. Although I'm doing okay now. Like, the, the suspense leading up to this was the worst part. So there's a guy there. He just went in. Oh, the stretch. Oh, I'll stretch extra long now. I forgot. Oh. Stretch one side, stretch the other. Loosen up all this tension. Hammers are horrible when you wake up screaming and shouting. Oh god, like night terrors? Yeah. I've only had, like, one true, like, night terror, and it was awful. I- it was awful. I, like, called my dad at, like, two or three in the morning, <laughs> just, like, sobbing. The other- the others in the room also didn't react until the last guy put his, uh, sh pool. Showed his light, yeah. Do you see them all the time? I'm so sorry, British. That's awful. Oh. If anybody watching right now has been sitting for a few hours, now is your opportunity to do some stretches. Ooh, feels a little better already. <laughs> okay, I'll stretch. I stole that directly, directly from Pyro's stream. Ugh. All right. I feel, str I feel, feel like I shook out those nerves. But then you'll have to take your eyes off the game. I know. All right. Whew. You only ever have night terrors if you eat late night meals. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. I, I guess. Digesting would, like, uh, ever so slightly keep your body more awake, maybe, because it's doing more work. One of the worst ones you woke up, it was still in your dream. Looked out the window, and there was a figure in the street. Turned around, it was in your room. Oh my god. I would die. I might die. Alright, we're gonna follow. Oh, fuck. That's the dam. We're all gonna wake up in a second. Or at least I am. So they were all just in here until they died at one point. God, that's so weird. I don't know if we'll ever be able to be the last one in the room, also, because that guy was just, like, on the boardwalk. Now what? 
it. Okay. You get sleep paralysis a couple times a year, where your mind is half awake. You saw a black figure walk in a circle around your bed and push your knee over. You couldn't move. You feel like your knee fell. Jesus Christ, you guys. Sounds awful. So here, here's a question, though. When you have a uh, a dream, it doesn't have to be a nightmare, but some sort of dream, is it very realistic or is it very uh, unusual and imaginary situations and um, creatures or people or, or whatever? Because any time that I have, oh, any time that I have a dream, it's very realistic. Like, uh, there have definitely been times, especially as a kid, where I would not be able to tell the difference between when something was a dream and when it wasn't. And so, like, I remember having these, like, I would ask people about, like, hey, you said this thing the other day, like, what did you mean? I was a little confused by it. And they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, uh oh, sorry, never mind. Forget it. Um Okay. Let's take a nap. So now we're at the other one that's like more spooky, I guess. Where's the door out? There it is. Your brother gets that. A full, a full steam train came into his train came into his room. Jesus. Here's the first email. One day in, and one of your students' parents is COVID positive. Yeah, I like. I'm not surprised, but I'm I'm sad. Um, and I, I wish you, I wish you safe, safety, Loof, because that's really scary. Because there's only so much that you can do, right? Like, you can get vaccinated and boosted, but, like, it's hard to, uh, Protect yourself beyond that. Just have parties like your government did. Oh, can't go backwards through these. These seem to be truly locked for me. I cannot get through. Let's try the other way. There's also this down here. Which, like, I don't want to jump down, because I think I'll die. Oh, that scared me a little bit. I've heard footsteps and stuff, but I haven't actually seen anyone in this part of the game yet. I see something green there. But it doesn't look like fire. It looks like writing. Will I be able to read this here, I wonder? Uh, I can't use any of my stuff. Uh, I'm also... Oh. This seems bad. Oh. Oh, fuck. I, I did it? Did I do it? Did I unlock one of the bells? 
Oh my god, my cat started scratching the scratching post and I thought the door opened. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, we did something, we did something, we did something. We set off a bell. We set off a bell. And by setting off the bell, I wonder if we unlocked one of those chains. It's the wrong button. Uh, and coincidentally, the dam just broke. Um, you know what? Let's go all the way around. Oh, I thought I was going to make that. Whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. It's just if I hit anything, I'm going to die. So let's make sure we're on a, on a boat. Let's go all the way around to the bell and just see if one of those chains is unlocked. I want to know if my theory is correct. Ooh. Your concern is being in a room with uh, 34 snotty goblins with the windows frozen shut. And I don't blame you. I, I would be very hesitant. I guess on, on the upside, actually, so I was, I was going to talk about this earlier and I kind of forgot. So I had COVID last week and I was very lucky that I had very minor just, fuck, I'm not going to make it, am I? Um, I was very lucky that I had super minor symptoms. Oh, I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Oh, I passed it. I'm an idiot. Damn it. I passed it. We could have known. We could have known. I fucked up. Oh, shit. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I went right past it. Oh, why? Why did I do this? Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Disappointed. So what I was going to say earlier, I had COVID uh, this past week, and I was lucky I had very minor symptoms, but I did have I did have cold symptoms. I, I did still, I felt like I had a bad cold. Um, however, I did notice a weird thing happening that I, I didn't notice was correlated, um, was that I was smelling like a burning smell off and on um, pretty regularly like pretty much every night um and i was like constantly checking like oh maybe i left like a candle lit or something but no i was like checking the oven make sure the oven wasn't on uh took out the trash i was like maybe it's something in my trash that's weird uh but no it turns out that a covid side effect is smelling rancid smells even though my actual sense of smell my sense of taste is unaffected you can still have phantom smells. So, uh, apparently it doesn't uh. last very long, though. But I get phantom smells now. <laughs> so, that's been fun.
you have another idea? Yeah, that's that's my thinking too, Pyro. Is like we have to go to each location and ring that bell at each location, and then it unlocks whatever's inside the other bell. But yeah, we're on the same same wavelength for sure. Do a barrel roll. Damn it. I don't like these doors. Okay, okay. Uh. Push it in the water. Get in the water. Get in the water. One thing I'm thinking about is just how convenient each of these areas are, you know? Like, the very first door on the right is where we get get this thing, and then the next door on, on your right is where you go to the first bell ringing potential location. Um, I do think I'm gonna skip the first one, though. I'm gonna skip the first one because we didn't have luck figuring it out yet. Oh, one side. I am also gonna sit. Thank you for the follow. Let me fix my camera. There we go. I tried to preemptively set the camera. Henry, how are you doing tonight? Uh, and this is where I want to be. This is exactly it. Because really what I want to do is I want to get in here, I want to check the bell status. Um, do I still have the backseat or rules command? I think they're both still working. I believe. But yeah, this game is going to be a very firm no-spoilers game because it's so experimental. But, um... Yeah, definitely good for the reminder, so thank you guys. Uh... It's been a day for you, but you're good. I'm glad that you're doing doing well. I hope that your day continues to be good. So I think we went this way. And we never actually saw anybody, so I'm not gonna stress out. We did never we never went to this area in the center, though that I'm very curious about. We might have to jump down there next time. We might even have time to check it out this time. We'll see. Main game, yes. DLC, no. I will say, 
so far the DLC is very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, no, uh, Luf, it was not in the main game. This is all new stuff. All right, here it is. All right, we got woken up. Let's go check the bell. And I'm not gonna fuck up this time. I remember that we're actually quite close to it. We're just gonna go through the big doors and it's gonna be right there. Oh, uh, there's no thing there. Oh, there's one over there though. Let's refuel. <laughs> That's the warning! Warning about the dam. Oh no, don't drop the artifact. We only have a couple of minutes. Flipped on us. Uh, do we have a way to get out of the water here? Okay. Uh, I suppose. We can wait here for a second. Yeah, we can wait here because the the level is going to go down. So how is everybody doing while we wait? I hope everybody had a good weekend and a good Monday. Our pipes froze. That was a whole thing. Pipes froze in the laundry room. We were without laundry for like three days. It was mildly inconvenient, but nothing exploded. I wonder what's up here. I bet that there's another like room up here that we just like can't reach yet. That I'm not sure how to get to. I think I even have a log entry about this. But I have no idea how to get there. That dam is gonna go any second. Conveniently, there's a, uh, a raft there. I will never get tired of this, like, ring design. This is so cool. I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, yeah, Henry, it's stunning. So far, like, everything about it is just, like, really, really pretty. We just have to wait this out for a second. Oh, I'm so impatient. I just want to jump across. Is this the right area, too? Or is it like a little... It might be a little bit further down. Pick up artifact. Jesus Christ. 
Oh yeah, we have to go through this door and then it's on the right. It's hard to tell when everything like changes halfway through. There it is. How could I miss the big chains? And yeah, it is very dreamland trippy. Without question. And I remember one of these collapses, but I think it's that, not this. We can kind of control this a little bit, which is fun. I wish I could open this door, too. Ooh, there is stuff in there. Can we get in from underneath? Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh, we did it. We're in. Open the door. Oh, there's fuel in here? How nice. Huh, I was wondering if there would be some sort of, like, bell control in here. That shows the inside of the bell. Don't know really what it does, though. Come on, Dan. I was too quick. <laughs> I was too quick on the first area. All right, wait for the water level to drop and then we're gonna dive in and we're gonna learn how accurate our predictions are. Water level still dropping, still dropping. What is in here? We don't really know yet. We- we've seen this. What happens if I doze off here? Am I gonna regret this? Oh, I dislike that it's starting me off by letting me know that I can conceal. Of course, of course. Let's use the elevator. Love the sounds in this game, so ethereal and moody. Whoa. God, this game is stunning. Like, this itself would be really cool even if it didn't have a single horror element, right? Like, this is cool looking. 
No denial. So, we have each of these. Oh. Don't know what these do yet. We saw another one of these and I think I like lucked into solving it or something. It's a way to break space time this game. Be careful about any spoilers, hints, or anything like that. Just just FYI, Henry. I'm sure there is, but I kinda wanna luck into it or or figure it out for myself. Oh, okay. And this will just show me the same thing again. Okay. But that doesn't surprise me. Give a cat a treat. Oh, I do have a cat in here. I've been blocking her. She's right behind me. You want one, baby? Come here. Here we go. Get you some full ham. Come on. Come over here, you dummy. Come here. Ellie, come up here. Come up here. Come on. Usually I put give her the treats on the floor. Come on. Come on up. There you go. There you go. What a good kitty cat. What was the code at first? I think it was all like um, semicircle moons, something like that. But I don't know if it was a code, because that's what it was all set to currently. Yeah, another one right here, baby. She's a good cat. She is a good cat. <laughs> Did you see that evade? <laughs> She's like, I don't want you to pet me. I want more treats. All right. So, yeah, it's it's whatever this symbol is. It's that on, like, all of them right now. I think I changed it on this one. I can put them back, but it seems weird... that uh there we go if they're all set to that Does anything happen? Nope. All the same. Hey! Hey! Stop it!
my cat has started to try scratching my my gaming mats, and I, I do not like it because I've got one on my desk too, and I don't want her to scratch any of them up. Okay. Uh, maybe if I... Maybe that's bad. Maybe these things going off is a bad thing. Huh? Huh. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, that was that was my instinct too, Pyro, but no. Very strange. A way out with when you haven't finished your task, maybe. I feel like I'm supposed to go there. So if I'm concealed, I'm good until I get into the light. Once I get into the light, they spot me. Here, I can't go in the water. Uh, because it'll extinguish my thing. I wonder if the shape of these correlates to the symbol. Let's see. No. I don't think so. Huh. I am very stumped as to what these do. I guess not yet. Not yet. I'm still still working it out. Hmm. I am thinking that there's something I have to solve at each of those locations. And by solving whatever is going on there, um I will get a code. Once I have a code, I can solve these, and it will do something to either get me over there, or light the path, or, or something. Or maybe... I'm wondering what this light is, too, that's coming down. If this is... That's essentially what you're thinking? Yeah. Oh my god, I have to let the cat out. She's driving me bonkers. She's like, just playing with everything. Huh. Alright, she has been evicted. The cat is away. Okay. And that was the end of the loop. I had just I had heard the song. Got 
gosh, this is weird. I also am curious if we're gonna get, like, evicted. Are, are we gonna wake up? The song ended. Or are we just gonna chill here? Do the... Oh, there it is. There it goes. Yep. That's right, Henry. Goodbye. Away we go. I want to read our ship's log. I don't know if I'm going to do another whole loop, but I do want to check the ship's log. Maybe I'll check one thing. All right, we've got some new entries here. Oh. <laughs> this is so exciting. Subterranean lake. I discovered a vast subterranean lake beneath the submer submerged structure. The sealed vault is resting on the shore of the lake. There are three interfaces, each marked with one of those three symbols from the vault. I rotated the mechanism in front of the vault, causing it to strain against the chains holding it shut. Moments later, rays of green light spilled out of the vault. Secret passage. The light coming out of the vault gave me a vision of climbing a spiral staircase uh, to a room near the top of a tower. One of the stranger's inhabitants pointed at a mural of an identical tower beneath a ringed, a ringed planet then picked up an artificial an artifact and carried it downstairs to a room with a green fire. Sometime later, several lamps in the mural room turned on while the others turned off, plunging the mural into darkness and revealing a secret passage. We could try that now. A dense forest along the banks of a river. I heard music coming from a candlelit building across the water. I found a bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. A secluded village nestled within a cove, a candlelight tower sits atop a nearby island. There's more to explore here. Yeah, we didn't go down there either. Oh man. This game, there's just so much to look at all the time. Auto locking. Come on. Controller, please. It's not letting me lock onto it. I wonder if my controller's busted. So much harder without the autopilot. Down the hole feels more important now since it's was centered in the image. Yeah, you're right. Um, I do kind of want to check out that tower though, that room, the secret room at the top of the tower that leads to a secret passage somehow. So I'm tempted to check that out. It's crazy. There's like, there's no wrong answer, right? There's just, oh, I do need an artifact. I remember seeing that in that little slide.
All right, so let's get over to that tower. We'll climb the tower. Yeah, no wrong answers, just options. That's what I love. That's what another thing about this game that I really like is that you're never bound to one set of puzzles. You can constantly change pace if you get stuck. You can work on something else for a while. You can just like pick something in the horizon that looks interesting and then just go there, you know? Um, Breath of the Wild, I think, was very successful with that as well. That's actually how I first played Breath of the Wild. I completely ignored all of the quest, all of the main plot line, and instead, I, um, instead, I just picked stuff on the horizon that looked interesting to me and ignored the rest. So, we want to get higher up. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. without waiting for it to fall. So maybe we should do the other one first, just in the interest of time, because we're here. Both things are at this location. And we'll just go straight to that hole in the floor and hopefully not die when we jump down. I also think it's funny that I found that dozing off by accident the first time that I got here. Man, I miss my jetpack. kind of think that this is the lowest area that we could potentially jump down from. So I'm just going to do it. Let's just fucking do it. Oh, oh, no. Of course. Can I check the pictures in the tower? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah, they're still here. And I definitely can. Will do. So we've got deer guy sitting, deer guy fishing. I didn't consider that they might be different, yeah. And then this one it's just missing. This one it was the it was one with a planet in the other world. Oh. I can't believe I never looked up. There's a planet here. Orctastic! Thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing? How, what, what were you, you were uh, streaming Death Store? How are you enjoying that? It's on my list to play. I really want to check it out. You beat it. So I so I guess you liked it if you finished it, right? Yeah, Pyro, there's got to be a way. I'm thinking if we go back through this path, this is the only path that wasn't blocked to us before. I bet if we like keep going somehow there's going to be a path. Here we're like suddenly too far away. All right, we'll uh, jump the fence that says do not cross probably. Okay, so.
here. I'm wondering if we can walk past this. Oh, shit. We've got like a two-way path here. Little tanker, hello. Wave Percy, hello. Whew. This game. It was fantastic game. Highly recommended. Hell yeah. I'll definitely pick it up at some point. How's the syrup up north? <laughs> oh, this is the burned temple. Okay, I think the only way we can go is up. Oh god, I saw that thing standing there and it freaked me out. I'm not sure if I can do anything with this. Sorry guys, I'm so up in this game right now. Crazy Chemist, hello? All right, let's not walk into the water. Yo, Tanker, thank you so much for the gift sub. I really appreciate that, thank you. I'm sure Luffy will make good use of those emotes. So, this seems... What am I missing? I can only go back and forth. Percy, thank you for the follow. Hope y'all are having a good night. Show some love to your beauty, bro. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing here? There has got to be something to do, right? The game wouldn't take me here. Oh, this is so freaky. All right, let's go back, I guess. Crazy Chemist, thank you for the follow! <laughs> Did you realize my sub lapse bad mod? Hey, no one is ever obligated to sub. Just for the record, I know that everybody says that, but it's absolutely true. Huh. I'm very confused. How? I'm just like not convinced that there isn't something down here for me to do or interact with. Rotate? Maybe that just calls it if you, like, send it away by accident. You don't say that. Everyone must sub assimilate. <laughs> so this only goes back and forth, which feels crazy to me.
Oh, that was the dam. That was the dam. What the fuck was that? Did the water level change? God, these noises, I'm never gonna get used to it. Okay. Let's go back. Cause I did not see any paths. Even though I like, I can't believe that there is not a path here. I do not see one. All right, we've got our alarmy guy that will wake us up, so we'll just go straight. Until we're out, perfect. Okay, so now we're out here. I can just barely jump over that. Okay. There's gotta be a way to get down there. There just has to be. I guess. Okay, okay. Um, so for anybody who just came in, what we're playing right now is Outer Wilds, the DLC. And, um, I will say that if you have not ever played the base game, it is on Game Pass right now. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is a unique experience that, um, I think everybody should try. Okay, I kind of want to try jumping down to, like, the rock and see if I die. Uh, the footsteps will never not freak me out also, by the way. <laughs> You're gonna die. Yeah, I mean, we did die the other time. I'm just like, ah, where do we, how do we do this? Fuck, we, we already jumped down and we did die. You're right. I shouldn't be reckless. We only have so much time. Because we jumped from here and we just splat. Um, this direction. We tried and there weren't any. Uh, it's like you have to come from the other way. God, you guys, this game. What drives me nuts, what drives me nuts about this game is that I know the solution to whatever it is, where whatever it is that we're trying to do, right, is like right in front of us. But we just don't know it yet. I'm wondering if there's another door, another exit. I don't think so. 
there is, it isn't obvious. All right, I think I am gonna wake us up. All right, let's let's wake up. Wow, that didn't kill us. Okay, that's fine. Man was content roasting marshmallows in this game. <laughs> Sploot, indeed. Okay, so. I just noticed that one's empty. It's broken, even. Secret passage! Or there's just like an- or maybe that's like the downstairs room that we've actually been into? Questions, questions. Okay. Y'all, I don't know if you wanted a game that answers its questions with more questions, but... Oh yeah, we've been in here. I want to get on top of the thing. Yeah, we've been in here because I remember we read that. Yeah, we've we've been in here before. We've read this one. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just pretty sure we've read this before. We can take this. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Um. This is gonna make it suck to get out of here. In fact, we might not be able to. Oh, we did it. I didn't think we'd be able to. What happens when the lights go out in there? Uh, I've been in there when it's underwater and like it doesn't seem like anything different is happening. I assume just like all the guys die because that's what happened when we were in there earlier. Oh yeah, we can't even read this properly because uh, we don't have a lantern and all the lanterns are underwater now. Oh, there is a way to get up here from the inside. Oh, I know that we're about to lose all of our time, which sucks. Oh, come on. Oh, that sucks. I want to get in here. I want to know how to get in there. 
because that's a different doorway that we haven't been to before. Oh, stretch. Well, I'd say that this was a pretty productive run. I want to check the log really quick. Yeah, exactly, Pyro. Exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I don't think we got any new entries. Yeah, so I think that I'm like invested in now. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so the inhabitants opening the secret door, that is the window, that is the picture frame door that we go in and go downstairs and then they're all dead in the circle. That's the secret room, I think. Um, and then the first one, the upper floors, can only be reached by second entrance at the back of the tower. I think that's the room that had the reel in it. I think there's a second secret room. That's very possible. I wish that we could view those slides again without it being, like, a huge pain. Um... Oh, wait, no, there's something new here. Come on. I found the remains of a burned, burned out building on the outskirts of the village. Which is coincidentally the same building as the one, or a very similar building as the one that's in the past, in the, uh, in the stranger. Hmm. Lots of questions, lots of questions. I think, I think for tonight, I'm gonna raid because I'm getting kind of tired and I've got work tomorrow. However, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Pyro, I'm glad that you're invested in this game too, cause man, it's, it is, it's fun to bounce ideas for sure. Bridge, Orc, good to see ya. Don't let me keep you with your question. Don't worry, we will be back. We were we are gonna come back to this game soon. Um, thank you, Luv. I'm glad that you enjoyed. Grizzly, good to see ya. Tanker, thank you for gifting a sub. Orc, thank you for the raid. And Tuka, thank you for the sub. Um, Percy, chemist, thank you for the follows. And Henry, thank you for the follows. And Pyro, thank you for the resub. Uh, if you stick around for the raid, you'll get some bonus channel points that you can use to make me give cats treats if that interests you. Um, and let's see who is online and we can pass along some good vibes.